Hi guys, today's video is all about Zara fragrances. It's been a while since I reviewed Zara fragrances just because they were really disappointing me this past few months. The redoing or like rebottling of same perfumes. Anyway, the other day I passed by in the mall and I checked out the new fragrances and I thought of like you know what, since it's 2024, why not talk about the new fragrance releases of Zara this year? What I'm gonna do today is like tell you what I think about these new releases. And yeah, without further ado, let's get this video started. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. So. If that sounds interesting to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. Recently, Zara released a new collection called Infusion and I got them all. So I only got these 30 ml bottles and they cost around 9.99 euros. I've been testing out these fragrances um, this week, basically since Monday and yeah now i'm excited just to let you guys know what i think of them so let's start off with secret infusion in the note breakdown it says that it has fair peony violet musk and cedar mm, this is basically a very fruity fragrance and the pear and the puny are really screaming in here it's extremely fruity so if you are the type who love fruity like body mist style of fragrances you gonna love this it actually reminds me of a perfume that my sister used to have when we were in high school and it is called Salvatore Ferragamo Incanto and guys this is they smell exactly the same to my nose the note says it all this is pear peony violet musk and cedar to be honest um I'm not really getting any woody vibes here I am only getting fresh pear and like freshly picked peony so it has that brightness and uplifting feel to it it's nice, very beautiful perfume. It is giving like body mist vibe as well. Quite good, I must say. I've tested this and basically I've tested them all overnight already just to give you an idea how long it will last. And I must say that this one stayed around two to four hours. So having said that, you know it's it's weak but anyway it's a zara perfume we cannot really expect it to be extremely long lasting i think in my opinion however yeah it's nice it's bright it's fresh it's fruity if you love the sound of that then check out secret infusion by zara All right next up is something that actually made me so curious about this collection and this is called pistachio infusion and in the note breakdown it says it has pistachio iris and tonka bean okay and i must say that there is no nuttiness in this fragrance except for the opening in the opening it smells like tonka bean and the pistachio that is in here is like a pistachio kind of essence so it's not nutty at all if you're thinking about the kayalian pistachio it won't give you that vibe okay there's no fluffiness in here mm, muskiness um yes like you know a typical uh muskiness from zara Mm, but in here i am getting a lot of sweetness coming from tonka bean and vanilla maybe mm, it says here iris but to be honest 
I'm not getting any iris here. Mm. As it develops, actually, it starts to smell like apple. And the final dry down of this definitely reminded me of Nocturnal Life, which is another fragrance from Zara. And also like that sun desert at sunset in the men's collection. It's giving off that apple vibes. Um, yeah, just extremely sweet apple, nothing spiced in here. So how does it smell like? This smells like a pistachio essence with some tonka bean in the beginning. So it is giving that sweetness. However, as it dries down, and what I mean by dry down is that after five minutes, it's it just transforms into something that smells like a sweet apple cider, aka nocturnal life or sun uh, desert at sunset, which if you're not aware of are fragrances that are available in Zara as well, even though, okay, this is not completely like Nocturnal Life. I must say that this still has that difference because the pistachio essence is there. Okay, it's not a nutty pistachio. Like, I don't know if you bake, because I bake, um, you know, sometimes you use essences uh, to give off that aroma. So I am getting like, a slight pistachio essence in here. So it smells like a nocturnal life with a dash of pistachio essence. So yeah, I hope that I made sense in there. Um, this, in my opinion, has a very um, weak uh, lasting power and projection as well, around two to four hours. So if that sounds interesting to you, um, check it out. Yeah, so that's how it smells like. Nothing related to Kayali Yam Pistachio, but instead Nocturnal Life with Pistachio Essence. And that is Pistachio Infusion. Next up is Ruby Infusion. It has black currant, marshmallow, candy, sugar, and vanilla. So... As you heard, marshmallow, cotton candy, sugar. What else you have in mind, right? Um, yes, it is definitely giving that Oriana vibes. They did something um, exactly like this already called Velvet Shadow in their collection. And yeah, I feel like they, they are the same, rebottled. Um, if you have Velvet Shadow, you don't need this. Um, but I think it is a cute fragrance, okay? Very feminine, very girly. It has black currants, so it has that uplifting effect. And I can really get the marshmallow, um, cotton candy, and sugar in here. So it is sweet and fluffy. When I spray this on, I actually quite like it. Um, and then, like, you know, as it dries down, I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is Velvet Shadow. Having said that, if you have Velvet Shadow, you don't need this. Lasting power is same. Sadly, lasts around two to four hours. Very weak. However, okay, please, let's keep in mind that this is nine euros. So we can't really judge because you are basically getting what you paid for. Yeah. Okay, so that is Ruby Infusion. This one from the Infusion collection is Juicy Infusion. And this has pear, jasmine, and black currant. And you guys, this is like straight up sparkling sugared apple to me. It smells very sweet, um, very um, apple mist vibe. I find this very similar to um, Secret Infusion, actually. Um, to me, 
this smells like secret infusion um with apple with sweetened apple this one on my skin lasts the longest okay amongst those four i find juicy infusion the longest lasting on my skin and when i say long lasting let's say around five to six hours okay this is very tart very juicy kind of reminds me of as well of like a herbal essence shampoo that has uh, an apple scent that's how it smells like um very fresh and uplifting i saw in fragrantica that they're comparing this to um dkny delicious apple oh my god um my sister used to have that perfume as well and i must say that yes yes they are similar if you're someone who enjoys for example kayali's eden apple like you know that kind of vibe or let's just say like um any apple scent from bath and body works you're gonna enjoy this one i find it nice However, it's a little bit juvenile to me, but I think if you uh, layer this with anything like vanilla, I think it can be better. But I know that there are people who just loves like straight up juicy apple scents. You gonna love this one because um, to me, this is the one that performs very, very well. And, and I must say that it projects quite good as well, especially for the first two hours. Um, yeah, so that is Juicy Infusion. So now I'm going to talk about the two new vanilla releases this year. I know that their vanilla collection um, got a lot of hype last year. That's why I felt so excited about this two new vanilla scents and this is called Senso Vanilla and Angelic. Now let's start off with Angelic Vanilla. This has a very long note breakdown. I'm gonna list it on the screen. I don't get anything woody in here. Um, yes definitely I'm picking up the vanilla and tonka bean. Uh, rose very very slightly rice i must say yes um and to be honest when i see uh rice as a note in a fragrance i don't know why but i automatically think that it's going to be like a soft projecting fragrance and basically that's what this fragrance is it says it has mirror i'm not getting any mirror here or like bergamot almond blossom Yes, there's something like almondy in here, um, but it's not like a typical sweet almond, okay? This smells like uh, like an almond essence as well. Um, nothing too screechy. It actually smells very beautiful. Actually, this is my favorite amongst all the perfumes that I'm going to talk about today. And... The last one that i'm gonna talk about okay so you have to you have to keep watching um the thing is that this is extremely soft and even though i love the scent um this to me smells like a, a very gentle almond um vanilla tonka bean um, with a touch of rose, okay? It smells very beautiful, very angelic. Hence, I think that's why it's called angelic vanilla. But the projection as well is so angelic that it's so close to being non-existent. This smells like quite good, like from the bottle, you know? It seems like, oh, it, this one will, will perform good. However, on the skin, guys, this is like non-existing, at least on my skin. And, you know, 
if I told you about uh, the infusion collection that they last around two to four hours, this lasts between one to two, okay? And what I mean is that even if I overspray, because as you see, right, I had this tent already considering I only had this this week because I really wanted to make this perfume work out for me because I am in love with the scent but you know it just yeah it doesn't perform guys at least on me um now I want to know did anybody try this fragrance did it work for you or or not because I am very disappointed with the um, performance of this one because like if not like this will be like my favorite Zara uh, scent of 2024 only if it at least like projects so beautiful rice and vanilla scent mm, with a touch of rose mm, and that sweet almond essence yeah that's how that's how it smells like so that is angelique vanilla so the next one is sensual vanilla okay now guys this has a long note structure as well um uh, i'm gonna pop it in the screen anyway mm, this to me smells like a berries flavored cookie um so you know having said that it is sweet yet not too sweet to the point that i won't consider this gourmandish this reminds me a lot of nebras it just reminds me of nebras okay but i think this is more of a dupe of billy Eilish because you know nebras is still in a different level because that one performs really well however this one performs really well too as a matter of fact when i tested all these fragrances okay this is the one that stood out the most on my skin so having said that i know that this one projects okay and i actually tested it like one full day and overnight because i was quite impressed that it outlasted the other um zara fragrances so just to make sure i tested it alone and you guys this one last okay this has definitely prominent vanilla some sugar it has some powderiness the opening of this is definitely smelling like a berry um cookie and what i mean by that is that like a freshly baked berry cookie um and then as it dries down you get that like light amber and sandalwood and musk along with like powdery heliotrope it is beautiful guys and i really really love this one and also the fact that this actually lasts in today's video i must say this lasts the longest if juicy infusion lasts this can last at least like five to seven hours um and it projects as well guys it stays on skin and on clothes so i am very happy about that but also i just want to mention as well that the final dry down of this okay and what I mean by final dry down is like after six or seven hours, it smells like supreme vanilla without the ink. Yeah, that's what I noticed. So I think if you love supreme vanilla and you're bothered by the ink and at the same time, like berry scents um, doesn't bother you, you're gonna love this one. This is something that i will recommend actually because this has a very good longevity and projection and the scent as well guys is beautiful 
I slept one night using this one and the next day it was still on and going strong. So yeah, having said that, this will really give you like a good bang for your buck. Highly recommend um, Sensual Vanilla. Last but not least, I told you that there is something that really caught my attention. And this is called Mystical Metal. You guys, this is from the Metal Collection, I think. This is something that I bought straight away after sniffing um, from the store. This is beautiful. It has raspberry, saffron, hibiscus, and leather. And this to me smells like mm, very tart and sweet raspberry um, fruit burst in the opening. However, like it has some powderiness in it as well. Mm, the saffron and leather are there. However, it is very, very soft and toned down. The hibiscus here is very prominent. And to me, it smells like fresh hibiscus petals, you know, that just like fell off from the flower. And yeah, mix with that very soft saffron and leather. And yeah, guys, I, I love this one. And when I check Fragrantica, people are comparing it to Oud Satin Mood, not to me at all. For me, this is very similar to one of my favorite perfumes called Hibiscus Mahajad by Misson Crivoli. But, okay, don't quote me on that. They are not dupes at all, okay? They are not dupes. They are just similar because Hibiscus Mahajad is such a powerful fragrance so this to me is like kind of like the watered version of that and but still guys with the price of this i think this cost around 16 euros for um for 100 ml which is still like very very good it's amazing um i highly highly recommend you checking this one out if my description sounds amazing to you because this to me smells very sophisticated and elegant not a typical zara fragrance for me because normally i find zara fragrances nowadays just like all about fruits and like body mist vibes i find this one different so this is the one that I will highly recommend to you guys along with Sensual Vanilla. When it comes to longevity and projection, I must say that this is moderate. Let's say around four to six hours on the skin and on clothes with moderate projection. Sensual Vanilla still is the best when it comes to longevity and projection in today's video but this one is okay and it ticks the box i highly recommend you checking this one out if you're looking for just something different um, from zara fragrances that is mystical metal the infusion for me i must say is is a it's kind of like a letdown collection um i don't really think you need it if you have uh, the Zara fragrances that I compare them uh, with. However, um, this two vanilla um, fragrances are very good. Angelic Vanilla, try it for yourself because it might work better for you. And if it does, then it's amazing, you know, because I really, really love the scent of this because of that soft rice note mixed with vanilla and sensual vanilla guys almost the same like billy Eilish, and it lasts for a very long time and mystical metal guys such a sophisticated um and elegant scent highly recommend so that is the video for today guys those are the new zara fragrance releases this 2024 i know for sure they will be releasing more However, I 
started with this collection uh, to review for now and let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to know my favorite fragrances from Zara, I'm going to link the video that I made last year about that. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you on my next one.